You've been tasked with creating a new course for employees and don't know where to start. Well, first question is, what exactly is it that you and or the client expects for the employees or participants to learn during the training? My name is Jennifer Mitchell Early. I help individuals and teams achieve organizational and personal success. And this is Leadership Matters. Today we're talking about course objectives, what they are and why they are important. According to the Center of Teaching and Learning, a course objective specifies a behavior, skill, or action that a student can demonstrate if they have achieved mastery of the objective. As such, objectives need to be written in such a way that they are measurable by some sort of assessment. Course objectives form the foundation of the class. Everything in the course should work together to ensure students master the course objectives. Good course objectives will be specific, measurable, and written from the learner's perspective as they are clear, concise statements of what learners will be able to perform at the conclusion of instructional activities. Learning objectives should be used to guide students as they work through the course and to assess their learning progress. Excellent learning objectives provide a guide for students when reviewing materials and preparing for assessments. They are the most powerful if they are actionable and measurable. For the experienced trainer or teacher, the Will Cornell College of Medicine states that learning objectives are important because as an expert in your field, you probably already have a good idea of what you want your students to learn during your time with them. Taking a few minutes before you finalize your session content and the activities to capture those objectives is a worthwhile investment in the development of successful learning experiences for your students and in your own development as an educator, instructor, or trainer. More specifically, learning objectives force you to look again. The exercise of writing or rewriting objectives prompts you to examine content you may have written and have been teaching in much the same way for years, but with a new perspective. It helps you to trim the fat, allowing your learning objectives to drive your content or activity can result in discovering unnecessary content that may be trimmed or an activity that doesn't quite hit the target and needs tweaking. You may simply be inspired to reorganize a convoluted PowerPoint with your learning objectives as an outline. It can make your session fall in line. Once written, learning objectives can conform to a solid alignment or organizational objectives, learning activities and assessments, or suggest that a fresh pass at your design of the learning experiences is needed. For example, they are invaluable in helping your activities and learning experiences, which can be used to measure whether your objectives have been met. They can provide opportunities to present a much rich, a much more rich and challenging learning experience for your students. Your learning objectives will illuminate the order, whether higher or lower, to which you're asking your students or participants to think, process, and learn during your session. They can be a guide for your students. When displayed to students, learning objectives set student expectations, and you know how I feel about setting expectations. Guide their learning processes and help them focus. As previously discussed, course objectives are essential for effective learning. They help to articulate what students should be able to do as a result of the instruction, and consequently aid in designing more effective instruction planning, activities, and assessments. If you found this video valuable, please hit the like button, hit me a thumbs up so that others will know that this is valuable information. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload new content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.